and honey. So I don't know where my little mallet is. So y'all already know this drill. No, no singing bowl today, honey. <laughs> hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Gemini. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading this week, Gemini. But I also do your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person, Gemini, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my tarot readings, Gemini, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Gemini. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could. So take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, Gemini, because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. And Gemini, if you find some cards that resonate with you, I would really appreciate it for you to take the extra time to give my video a like and subscribe, because I always am appreciative when you guys take that extra time to just support my tarot channel in that way, and so, yeah. Um, also, let me know if you find some cards that resonate with you in the comments below and how they do, because that's how we keep up with y'all in the comments, Gemini. Uh, and then finally, before I get into this tarot reading for you, Gemini, I just want to remind you and say that I don't think any tarot reading should make a decision in your life, uh, especially mine, I guess I will say and speak for Gemini. I feel like tarot cards should be there to provide perspective, something for you to consider as you go throughout your week, some food for thought, but never something to tell you what you should do with your life because it's your life to live, not mine, Gemini. So... With all that being said, let's get into your reading, Gemini. We have for you the beaver spirit number six in numerology, so write that down, uh, Gemini. The beaver spirit comes in ta asking for you to lay a solid foundation. So with this, <sighs> Gemini, I feel like this is just a week overall. Gemini, very much so pentacle energy when you talk about anything stability or that foundation, right? I feel like this is just a week to... Um, it's probably not going to be that much of a flashy week, Gemini. I am going to be honest. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Maybe I'm wrong because this is just the general energy of things. But when you think about laying a foundation, it's kind of like what that boring work that people would consider. So it's just like, you know, tending to the house this week, Gemini. How does your environment look? Is your environment like a little bit messy, a little bit cluttered, unorganized? Is your space that way? Um, because if it is, maybe you should start tending to that a little bit, you know? Uh, I, I mean, who am I to talk, honey? If only y'all could see my room right now. But Gemini, there's definitely something about the feng shui of a room where it's just like, if you're trying to function in a cluttered mess, you're just naturally going to have like a little bit of anxiety going on here and you just are not going to, um... I mean, from my personal opinion, I don't feel like anyone is able to function to their very best as I hit my camera as well. I'm a mess, Gemini. Um, I don't feel like you're able to function as well uh, just because when you're in a cluttered state. And so I feel like you should just do like a little bit of a maintenance work in your environment. Uh, just a thought. Uh, the other, the next tarot card that we have for you is the moon card, Archangel Hanyo. So this moon card is a card of things going on behind the scenes. This is a card of something being revealed to you. Um, but I can't help but feel like what's causing, uh, like what's revealed to you, Libra, or Libra, Gemini, this hermit card. I say, I called you Libra just because the Libra had a her uh, the hermit card come in for them as well, Gemini. But uh, I feel like whatever is revealed to you causes you to hermit a little bit. Now, I don't, I mean, this is a general reading, of course, right, Gemini? So I can't just assume that everyone's going to have whatever was revealed to them be positive. But I don't really get anything too ominous just because, like, the other cards that we have, um, don't speak of anything like painful or anything like any type of rough transition it more so just speaks of like uh <sighs> diving in with yourself and really just taking care of like your home life really that's really what the emphasis is about is like taking care of the home life um and really just setting these boundaries right you have the king of air as well coming in where it's just like a more uh, refined thinking when it comes to the situation it comes to it comes in with the sense of um keeping things in balance when it comes to like i feel like how do i put this gemini it's almost like whatever ends up being coming out to light kind of gives you like a wake up call you're just like oh man i should like clean up my place right and it's through you cleaning up this place. it's like all of the effort that you take it's in the um, it's in the uh, name of trying to bring forth a lot more balance in your life, Gemini. I can't help but feel like for some of you guys, you've been in this state of um, 
how do we say Gemini? Uh, a little bit, um, I'm trying to think of a more respectful way of saying it because I know the only word that's coming to mind is just a lot more aggressive than what I mean, Gemini. Uh, just a little bit um, on edge or just a little bit flustered. You know, I feel like for some of you Geminis, even when I'm connecting to the energy, there's just a, a sense of feeling flustered, not able to really quite develop a focus on anything. And I just do feel like it's about the home life. Um, the final card that we have for this general spread at first, Gemini, is the Ace of Earth, the inflow of abundance, right? Now, this is the blank check from the universe. This is you making the most of a situation, Gemini. So truly, all these cards are shaped in such a way where it's just like you get a wake up call moment, Gemini, of just being like what it is that like you get a wake up call moment. And it's through that wake up call moment, you go in with yourself and being like, oh, I need to um clean house i need to do some spring cleaning i need to do some organizing i need to take care of the your home life right maybe some of you guys just let your home life you like let go of your chores for a little bit just because you've been, maybe you've just been in the state of like depression or just anxiety right you just been in the state of being on edge and dare i say gemini you probably haven't been feeling like yourself for a little bit um with this king of air is something that i'm getting and this ace of earth is coming in of where you're finally just like I can't help but feel like it's so like again I know it's not going to be such a flashy thing in the sense of like taking care of like the stable things in your life you know doing that spring cleaning dusting and all that but I really do feel like the small steps that you take towards in your environment really set you up for a lot of success Gemini so let me just wrap up this general spread here and let's get into the actual tarot rose for you Gemini so we can see what this is all about for you in this week. So how this is going to work, my beautiful Gemini, is I'm going to be pulling a row for my Geminis that are interested in hearing about their career and their financial situation. And then I'm going to be pulling a row for my Geminis that are interested in hearing about their social um, interactions this week. And then after that, Gemini, I'm going to be pulling a final row, just some final clarifying cards for the overall uh, reading, just to wrap up the reading, wrap the reading up. So let's start getting into this reading for uh, my Geminis in regards to their career. Now, I already have the cards pulled. I'm going to be pulling some clarifiers also, so you'll be seeing me shuffle uh, some cards as well. But we have starting out Page of Wa or Page of Swords, rather, and the Page of Wands, honey. Uh, powerful, powerful, with the Four of Wands. So, this is really insane, Gemini. I can't help but feel like some of you guys are starting a job, um, because with the Page of Swords and the Page of Wands, this is like heavy, like, because pages represents new beginnings, Gemini. This is such a heavy energy of, um, putting out applications, shooting your shot, um, emailing people, trying to get a job of some sort, right? Um, just overall just like forward um motion towards trying to get into this four of wands having some type of wish fulfillment right you're trying to it's like you're seeing a bunch of doors presented to you gemini and you're like knocking on each one and being like oh can like can i come in are you guys hiring right very much so like that you're trying to find an opportunity or if you can't find an opportunity you're trying to create that opportunity um so really beautiful with that um the four of wands though i what i'm getting from this <laughs> i heard such a silly quote just now gemini where it's like oh what's behind door number five um but i get this sense gemini that with this coming in here there is some type of door presented to you like yeah you may be knocking on a bunch of doors each time gemini and you might be experiencing some rejection but with this four of wands coming in here there's definitely confirming from spirit that there is some door meant for you that there is going to be a door that you knock on that when they open the door they actually are hiring and they will receive you beautifully gemini so i do want to say that i don't feel like this four of wands would have come in especially with what i was getting like I don't see this coming in with all these new things, right? Because that's the thing. Usually when, especially if you're not new to my readings, Gemini, I always will say the Four of Wands is something where it's like, it's already in the bag. You just have to walk through. So it doesn't really quite make too much sense when it's like the two different pages talking about something new, because it's like, well, if it's something new, how is it already in the bag? But I feel like there's like a new opportunity, a new thing, a new door presented to you that really will bring something towards you, you know? So definitely don't be uh, dismayed, my Gemini, if you have been experiencing some rejection recently. Um, continue shooting your shot because there's definitely 
at some point that shot is going to be received in such a beautiful way, Gemini. So let's start looking at these clarifiers now. We have for your page of swords, the queen of swords. So you probably started um, <clears throat> going out and um, I'm sorry, there's like something stuck in my throat right now, honey. Oh my gosh. Um, you probably went out to start searching for jobs um, and asking around um, because of some type of situation coming forward to you because of where it's just like, with this Queen of Swords, I can't help but feel like you're trying to prove something where it's just like, I can show, like, it's like, let me show you what I can do, um, which is really interesting. Uh, so let's get into this page of wands as well for pentacles. So this is it's almost like you've been just like playing it cool you've been playing it slow gemini probably for a while and now this is making more sense as to this row uh the general spread here because it's like you're probably just biding your time for a little bit gemini uh really not really really not really not doing too much um not trying to actively go forward in your uh in your path you kind of just been like maybe just like just going with the flow of things right now which is not a bad thing but i see you once you clear up your space i see that's when like you get the ball going it's like you're getting out of your some of you gemini's might have just been in a rut i see you getting out of that rut and i see you it's almost just like you're just waiting for the right opportunity to present itself for you to invest your pentacles in essentially gemini so like to everybody else you probably seemed lazy you probably seemed like you weren't um invested or interested in anything or anyone um you probably seemed like you gave up almost and maybe for some of you guys you probably did right we're only human but i get this confirmation with this four of wands and the clarification of the five of swords like yeah you're definitely proving yourself to somebody or even just to yourself uh gemini it's so much of an energy of where it's just like you're going after success um to prove something to show someone or even just to show yourself even gemini that you can accomplish something with ease right you're not really um engaging with other people you're just keeping like you once you have this mindset like this business like honey <laughs> such a silly example but it's like if we like right now in my town gemini everyone is selling girl scout cookies so it's like if you were a girl scout honey gemini like you would be the best girl scout you wouldn't be talking to anybody or anyone you're going to be having that um competition with miss Susie, with miss sally and they don't even know that you have that competition going because they were always doubting you they were just like they had all their little badges and you're just sitting over there just like waiting you're waiting out your time right you weren't trying to be flashy you weren't trying to do anything you're just waiting for the right time because you already had a plan you knew where you're going to sell your girl scout cookies and the moment you start selling those girls like the, you start are able to sell those girl scout cookies honey you're not knocking on every single door and just trying to sell those Girl Scout cookies and it pays out. <laughs> it's just a silly example, Gemini, but um, I hope it makes sense. It's very much so in that way for your career. That as an example, obviously you're not being a Girl Scout selling some cookies. I mean, maybe you are, honey. I don't know your life. What's up? Let me know if you are selling Girl Scout cookies. Let me know if I can get a bargain on them. <laughs> <laughs> all right so gemini now we're getting into your the social situation with tarot cards so the cards that i pulled for you is the seven of pentacles with the moon card coming in as well as the king of swords so it's interesting you had the queen of swords in your career and now you have the king of swords so it's like in your work situation you're trying to like prove something to somebody or someone and now in your social situation you're in this place of it sounds weird but it's like you're speaking like i can't help but feel like you're speaking sternly to someone um with this kind of dynamic it's like um you're trying to get someone back on track almost not back on track it's like you're trying to um because with this moon card i feel like something something presents itself uh gemini where it's like you kind of have to be the one to it's like you're the rock for somebody um i'm getting gemini you're like keeping um people around you grounded you're being like a level-headed one you probably feel like the adult in some type of situation going on here and that let's see let's look at these clarifiers so yeah, we have the, for clarification, the six of wands, the seven of swords, as well as the high priestess. So yeah, there's definitely some type of um, 
Gemini, I don't want to say conflict because it's definitely not conflict because you're kind of choosing the high road, but it's almost like your instincts were right about somebody or something happening, right? You're Because your instincts were mainly about this uh, moon card. With this high priestess, it's like you were having suspicions of something coming into the fray. And into the fray, it did happen with the seven of swords. And so because of this, it's like, again, like it feels like you are in this place of... Um, setting the example setting the tone taking the lead on how to handle some type of situation when it comes to this person i can't help but feel like gemini you probably just really feel like the adult in this situation where it's just like someone's like relying heavily on you and i don't know if you asked for that or not but i get the sense that gemini that this is important for you to do um even if you're in the state of being like oh, why should i have to um help support someone well, not help support because that's just being a good friend or family member right um but you're maybe in the state of just being like ah like you're not trying to be a leader you're just trying to like survive and like exist on your own in your own right gemini but there's definitely some type of situation here gemini that i feel like some type of social situation that it's almost essential for you to um take some type of leadership role i feel like it's a, you play an extremely pivotal role in how some type of social dynamic uh goes down and so it's like even if you don't feel like you feel like know the answer it seems like everyone else thinks you know the answer to it and deep down you probably do know the answer with the six of wands but you haven't wanted to like go in there because it's like not in your norm you don't usually like to have the spotlight on you you don't want to be the one that has to set the example set the tone for other people because you're just trying to do your own thing <laughs> gemini i know whenever i'm like looking at that it's just like it's like a begrudgingness right there's no like there's no um what am I trying to say? There's no pain involved, right? There's no pain. There's no like moving on from anything. It's almost just like in some type of, some type of situation, you're just like, oh, all right, since no one else is going to be the adult in this situation, I guess I will be the I being you, Gemini. Um, so really interesting. I just feel like it's with that King of Swords and that Six of Wands, Gemini, I really do feel like that's like really essential for you to take charge and be the rock the support system for somebody um the reasons could be endless right but i can't this is really like i can't drop it i really do feel like it's through you supporting some person maybe it like brings forward some type of opportunity for you in the long run maybe it just brings you closer to this person maybe it just teaches you something about yourself but there's definitely something spirits trying to have you um receive through that experience gemini so keep that in mind uh this week so the final cards that we have for you ten of pentacles coming in three of swords with the king of cups so yeah definitely you are going you're being called to be the stable one in your life right now gemini um i'm not really getting any sense of what's going on in specific uh what causes this to where you have to be like the rock maybe it's just like the natural energy of things uh gemini where it's just like um how things are but so interesting yeah with the clarification that we have for your ten of pentacles we have the three of cups so really honing in on like a collective of people that are like looking up to you looking to you for answers looking to you for stability um and the clarification with the sphere of swords and page of cups this is what i was getting yeah i feel like it's through some type of pain it doesn't have to be pain with the sphere of swords but it's like you're developing a closer bond with someone or someones through some type of hardship, right? And I don't feel like this hardship is, has anything to do with the people in general. Maybe it does uh, for some of you, but for the majority, Gemini, I don't feel like there's any type of hardship based off of a person. It's kind of like a, dealing with like a life event or something big has happened in like your home life or like, you know, like... I can't think of an example right now that just sounds really ominous that I mean, I don't want to use those examples, but um, yeah, something big happened in like your circle, uh, social circle, and you're having to be the one to be the adult and like keep everyone level. But I feel like it brings for forward like a deeper connection with someone there, which I just feel like is paramount for you. 
And the final clarification that we have for you, Gemini, the King of Cups with the King of Swords. Again, for you, a lot of King energy, which again, take notice, like you're the one taking lead, right? You're the one, like people are looking to you, Gemini, gender doesn't matter, as the king, as like the leader, as the figurehead. A lot of people are looking up to you and it's almost essential for you, Gemini, to keep that level head, keep a... Um, keep a level head, keep your emotions in check, keep your mental in check, heavy with this. You have to be the responsible one. You're definitely going to be challenged this week um, and really challenged in that of how much you're able to tap into this mature energy, uh, Gemini, but you definitely have this. Um, definitely let me know in the comments below, Gemini, what it is that happens or probably, I feel like it's already happened for most of you guys because um, with just how the, the reading all was seemingly formatted and with this beaver spirit, with laying down the solid foundation, I feel like that's what this moon was addressing. I feel like this moon was like something that's like, it's like, oh, this type of event happened. Let's like all, let's rally the troops and just keep it going, right? Um, so yeah, Gemini, that's the cards that I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and then share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my messages. Until next time, though, my beautiful Gemini, I love you so much. Bye.